Hello everybody, welcome to Life in France. Life in France versus life in the UK. I'm Mark and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget, hit that red button so you don't miss any future releases. Today's Life in France has been filmed in 4K. So I hope you see the difference from our previous videos. Um, we've just bought a camera, 4K camera, so it's be interesting to see your viewpoint on what you think, whether you can actually see the difference on the quality of the video. Um, in today's Life in France, I'm going to talk about the COVID restrictions, and in particular, restrictions on those people that don't have the vaccine as yet. Because, I don't know if you're aware, but France have put in some really strict restrictions on, basically, the way of life in France for those people who have chosen not to have a COVID vaccine. Um, myself and the family went to Burger King last week. Um, we went through the door and a young lady with a mask was waiting there and she asked for our vaccine passport. And after a while we sort of said, oh, sorry, we don't have it. And she said, unfortunately, you're not allowed to eat in here without the vaccine. Um, so I said, okay, can we order some food and have it out on the exterior, please? She said, no. However, if you want, I can take an order and you can take food away. And I thought, no, nah, that just doesn't feel right. You know, they want to take your money, but they don't want to actually allow you to sit in the restaurant, obviously because it's regulations under the French rules. Uh, and I said, no, it's all right, we'll go elsewhere. And uh, in the end, we decided to go through the drive through And uh, I was just feeling so sort of upset about not being able to eat on the uh, terrace that they mucked up our order and I wasn't going to move my car. And I sat there for 20 minutes for as long as it took for them to sort out the order. I didn't care how many cars were backing up behind me because I just felt so disgruntled the fact that we weren't allowed to eat inside Burger King. Um, so yeah, I stayed there for 20 minutes. I would have stayed longer if they hadn't sorted me out. It was only when they said to me, look, can you park your car over there and come back and we'll sort it out? And I said, no, I'm not moving until you sort this out or give me all my money and cancel the order. I'll go to McDonald's instead. <clears throat> and they basically sorted it out, but it took them about 20 minutes. And by that time, you know, there was probably a dozen so cars waiting behind me. So, COVID restrictions for non-vaccinated people in France. What's it all about? Well, I've just found out, because I don't watch the news in France, but and they don't really sort of say too much um, on the UK news about what's going on in France. So for our audience out in America and around the world, you may not necessarily be aware of what's actually going on in France at the moment for those people that don't have the COVID vaccine. Now in France, you need to have your vaccine passport. Um, you have to have the two vaccines in order to get your passport. And once you have that, you can basically carry on life as normal. You still have to wear a mask, um, but for those non-vaccinated in France, um, you can't go into restaurants now. You can't eat out on the out exterior of a restaurant. Uh, you can't go into a coffee bar. You can't go into a bar. Um, without the vaccine passport in France, you can't go into a museum. Uh, you can't even go into an animal park, a zoo, without the passport for vaccines. How ridiculous is that? You know, you go into a zoo, it's all open air or an animal park and you're not allowed because you haven't got your COVID vaccine passport. Um, and any sort of large shop now, over 2,000 square metres, um, you're not allowed to enter. And recently, um, there's a sort of region uh, around Paris that have got 14 large shopping malls and the local sort of perfecturer sort of the, the judge, put a stamp on it, right, no one in that hasn't got their vaccines. And uh, some of the shops actually did a protest and it was actually turned round in two days. So basically they banned all non-vaccinated people going into these shopping malls and within two days it was overturned in the court. And the reason for it being overturned was that they're saying that you know people aren't able to get their 
daily essentials, their shopping in some instances, because they rely to going on in the supermarkets or in these shopping malls to get their daily food. Um, another court order went on in Toulouse recently, and that was actually overturned, so that didn't get through. So those shopping malls, you are still banned if you don't have your vaccine. And it's actually going to go on further and get close in. Um, they're saying that um, in October or late September, even these small sort of um, pizza places that you see in vans or burger places selling burgers on the highway, if you haven't got your vaccine passport, you won't be allowed to order food. How ridiculous is that? Um, and one of my friends sent me a little video of how the French are reacting to this situation of having to have your passport vaccination um, in order to eat a restaurant. And you'll see at the end of this video of Life in France exactly what the French are doing to basically say, up yours. Um, they're basically sitting on the street with a picnic outside the restaurants um, because they're fed up with the situation as well. There's been mass riots and protests going on in Paris over this, over the um, basically your liberties being taken away from you. Basically, the French government are now trying to force everyone to get vaccinated. Um, so we'll have to watch this space to see what happens with us. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short video on life in France and life in France versus the UK. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget, hit that red button so you don't miss any future releases. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.